everybody, I'm Tom Vassell, and today we're going to talk about the top 10 games that are for the birds. I mean, about birds. Uh, so yeah, uh, these are games that have to do with uh, fowls, birds, um, aviary creatures, um, and there's not actually a lot of them. Now, I was originally going to divide this list into the two most popular birds, which are chickens and penguins by far, but there really wasn't enough of them, and even the third, ducks, you know, those are the three animals talked about the most, but not as much as you might think. In fact, I have two on penguins, two on ducks, uh, two here with ravens, and well, let's just get started for my top 10 games with birds as a theme. Number 10 is Chicken Caesar. Now this one is birds, but very loosely birds. I mean, this one, they could have changed it to humans and it wouldn't have been much different. It's a backstabbing game in which you're trying to get your chicken to become Caesar. So this is, this game came out and kind of faded away, but it's like, a, it came out very close to, a lot of these games came out. In fact, my own Nothing Personal came out when I first saw Chicken Caesar. I thought, oh, is this the same thing? Not quite, but it is a lot of backstabbery trying to get your chicken to become the ruler of them all. Number nine is Duck Duck Bruce. Now this is a game for kids, but I really like this one because it is a push your luck style game in which you're trying to turn over cards that will be different than the cards and you can stop anytime you want. Really simple, but it's a lot of fun and in fact it's one of the kid games that exists that I could play with adults, although I do enjoy it with kids, but it's very simple, push your luck, and of course there's always the Bruce cards to get you. Number eight is many people's highest ranked one, and that would be Hey, That's My Fish, a penguin game in which you're moving penguins on a board. You can move them in a straight line, and then the tile you move off if you take and keep the fish, and you're trying to move them into position to get these fish tiles to cut. You know, you're slowly cutting this area up into islands. It's a really well done game. It's one of the most published by different publisher games in existence. Some of them are better than others quality-wise, but I really do enjoy this one, um, and it's a, it's a very thinky game despite the silly title. Number seven is our first Raven game, and that's Nevermore, quoth the Raven. In this game, it's a card drafting game, and technically there's not any birds in the game to begin with, but you can transform your opponents into Ravens. Um, and of course, they can still win that way, but if you get them all in the Ravens, there's some back and forth. Um, it's from Smirk and Dagger, so it's this typical kind of go after your opponent style game. That's Nevermore. Number nine was Duck Duck Bruise. Here we got another one that's called Duck Duck, and that's Duck Duck Go. Now, Duck Duck Go is another kids game, but it's one I think very highly of, a programming style game in which you move the ducks around um, based on they're in this bathtub and you're trying to collect things, kind of like Robo Rally, and with programmed movement, and they're these little, the little rubber ducks that everyone knows about. So it's a lot of fun, and I, I kind of wish this one was still in print, Duck Duck Go. Number five is definitely out of print, and I wish this one would be picked up, and that's an ostrich-themed game, and that is Savannah Tales. Savannah Tales is from the Fragger Brothers, or the Lamont Brothers, I'm sorry, the Fragger Company. Uh, this is a game in which you're racing ostriches. It's a very simple race game. You play cards. If you match the color lane, you get to move more. There's bonuses and lions and things, and you're just running ostriches around. Very simple game. A lot of people know their very famous game, Snow Tails. Uh, I always thought I liked Savannah Tales a little better. It's definitely simpler, but it is very enjoyable. Number four, Seikatsu. This is a game that works best, in my opinion, with three players, although it's fine with two. And in this one, you're placing groups of birds and or flowers, and things will basically score different depending on where you're sitting around the board. It is an abstract strategy game for sure, but the beautiful flower bird motif does not hurt it. It's quite a good game, Seikatsu. Number three is my second Ravens game. And this is Odin's Ravens. This is a race game where you are one of two Ravens. It's a two-player game. Originally was produced in the Cosmos two-player line, recently redone by Osprey in a very nice way. Um, but you're just playing cards and you're flipping these landscape cards to try to make your Raven zoom as fast as it can and back. There's a lot of back and forth and there's more depth in this two-player game than you might imagine. And this is another racing game, but it's a two-player one and there's not many of those out there. Odin's Ravens. Number two is my next penguin game, 
and that is ice cool. Of course, this one probably not a big surprise, but in this game you're flicking penguins around a school. So you're going to flick the penguins. They're going to be, you can jump the penguins. They have these bases and wobble around. There's also Ice Cool 2, which is essentially the same game, but you can now combine them to make one big one. This game, extremely popular. Everyone I play with loves it. It works for kids. It works for adults. It's the kind of game you set up a convention and people come by and play it and play it and play it. Um, lots of fun. Ice Cool. And then number one, and probably my least surprising number one of any top ten list ever, and in fact, I put a poll for this on our Facebook group in Dice Tower, and this was number one by a mile, and that's Wingspan. Of course, Wingspan, Elizabeth Hargrave's game from Stonemaier Games last year, just an amazing game. It is on his list the best game. It is the most thematic. It is definitely all about birds. Um, Currently, there was North American birds, but then they added European birds in expansion, and we have more birds coming, Oceana birds coming soon. But just playing the birds, seeing all the facts about the birds, a little engine building game. There's been enough said about this in the past. Go watch my review. There's just, just a fantastic game. If you like birds at all, or you know someone who likes birds, this is the game to get them. Those are my favorite 10 games about birds. What are yours? Let me know in the comments. Until next time, I'm Tom Vassell. And you've been watching The Dice Tower.